And welcome back. It's now time to head back down to Side Chick in Branson. What do you have for us this time, Tom? Yeah, I, I, I have. I mean, you're going to be able to still look at this food we were talking about earlier. Brad is still with me. And we're going to talk about, all right, this is one of your establishments. And we kind of just touched on another one of them a little bit earlier. But explain to people, I mean, you're kind of a, a food mogul down here, yeah, I guess. You uh, could say that in a way. I like to cook and I like to eat. Uh, yes, sir. That's all right. I got no objection to either. We started out with getting basted. Right. Right. And getting based at our main flagships here in Branson on the Strip. Mm -hmm. We also, uh, closer to Springfield there, we've got the one in Nixa, which, right. you know, is near and dear to my heart. That's right by my home. So, so yeah. I, I love yeah, that yeah. restaurant on there mostly. But Downing Street Poorhouse is also ours. We've got a sandwich shop called Mythical Witch. Uh, we own the Bahama Bucks here in town, which is a snow cone place. Yeah. And so, yeah, man, we, we, we love, I mean, I, I love to cook. I love coming up with new concepts, you know, barbecue first. But other than that, man. You, you name it, chicken. Sure, but you, I mean, really, you are very proud of your product. No matter which door I walk into, you're proud of what's coming out. Well, you know, when I'm coming up with something, I always like to think, why, if I come to the restaurant, am I going to order this? Right. Right. What makes this special? And mm -hmm. so that's kind of the mindset I come into it with anything when I'm coming up with a menu. I'm like, yeah. okay, you know, what, what makes this stand out? If it's a throwaway, we don't put it on the menu. Well, if you don't like it, how can you expect other people to? 100%. Right. Okay. Uh, the other thing is there are so many different ways that people can enjoy this. Of course, you can come into any of those restaurants, sit down, and have a nice meal or a dessert or whatever you like. But there are other ways that you can get it to people. Yeah. I mean, catering, right? Football season's coming yes, up. Yes, it so, is. So fried chicken, chicken tenders, chicken wings is perfect for that. But barbecue is as well. So any of our restaurants, all of them, whether it be carry out or whether we're bringing it to you for a bigger party, mm -hmm. our, our catering has just been been exploding and it, it's yeah. it's a really good way to enjoy our food absolutely another good way to enjoy it when it gets a little more temperate but people go out there all the time right oh, out the door here i can't wait for that patio it gets a little bit cooler this yeah. far oh yeah. man that thing is beautiful uh overlooking the ferris wheel overlooking the golf carts overlooking the branson strip man it's, yes. it's a good place to be you can sit there enjoy your meal and just kind of watch the world go by yeah, very absolutely. easily drink a cold beer yeah nothing wrong with that <laughs> nope, nothing wrong nope. with that okay but also you know you you talk about the catering but there are other ways people couldn't, I mean, you can order ahead, sure. yeah. pick it up, go. Yeah, pickups, and we've got DoorDash, you know, is another way that you can get, whether it's a bigger order. And then right. we do, you know, like I said, if you're doing a big enough catering, we'll also deliver that to you. So we do our own delivery of $250 or more, and oh. we'll bring that out to you. All right, now if yeah. I just want to have a big party, but I don't feel like having it at my house, yeah. you can accommodate? We can accommodate. You want World Championship barbecue at your house? We can accommodate you, absolutely. Sweet, but I can also, like here, for instance, you do have party rooms that we people do. can come to your establishment. Yeah, yeah, but you can rent out the deck. You can rent out this back room over here. All of our locations have places that you can rent out that have rooms that you can use for okay. special occasions. All right. Now, I'm going to put you on the spot. Yes, sir. What's your favorite? Not my favorite restaurant or my favorite dish? At the the favorite dish that you make. A, all I mean, you have so many different things that, that are out there with so, different tastes. I, I had one today. I've got to go to Mythical Witch okay. and, and our soul roll. And it's a cheesesteak. Yes. But it's got a Korean marinade on it, and it's got like a spicy slaw. And that right now is is probably the favorite thing that I have to come out of our restaurants. So It'll there change. you heard it. Yeah, well, change, it will. Probably by the time you have lunch uh, tomorrow, it, it, it could change. It could. <laughs> but it's, uh, yeah, that, that one's a People want to keep track of all the different things that you have to offer. What's sure. the best way to do it? I mean, we all have our own uh, individual websites, but gettingbasted.com mm -hmm. is, is kind of the over you know, overarching yes. mother website, so to speak. And uh, you can find everything from there. Our gifts, are, our gift cards work at all our locations. Our loyalty program works at all of our locations. All so right. yeah, absolutely. You're everywhere. <laughs> We're trying to be. And growing. <laughs> We're trying to. Cheers. 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 Back to you.